Okay, welcome to WP Master Control version two demo. Now let me show you how you can get a 95% time saving on doing the regular routine tasks that we all do as webmasters. And that's updating our sites, that's running backup, installing security, installing our themes and plugins, and running standard configuration tasks to get rid of default WordPress configuration settings. Okay, so I have two domains which I wanna work on and update and install some plugins, backup security. The first one is HTML Masterclass. And if I go to the plugin area, I'll show you that this site already has plugins installed. However, it doesn't have a backup or a security plugin installed or configured. So that's one site which I need to go into update and get ready. And I also have a brand new site, uh, which is WP Master Control Demo. And if we look in the plugin area, as you can see, there is no plugins installed here at all. And if we look at pages, you can see there's just a sample page here. And if we look at categories, you can see that I just have a default test category. And if we look at themes, as you can see, I've only have a default standard WordPress theme. So as you can see, there's a lot of work for me to do on this site, including installing a backup plugin, running security, installing my own themes, plugins, and of course, getting rid of all the standard default WordPress settings so I can actually start getting this site operational. So let's do this now with WP Master Control version two and show you how quick and easy it actually is. So firstly, I'm gonna work on that blank site that you saw a second ago. And I'm gonna go through this quite quickly, but don't worry, there are instructions just here. And of course, there are videos under support. And of course, you also have uh, the tooltips under every section so you can find your way around very, very quickly. So I'm now going to install the WordPress admin URL and I'm gonna put the username and password in. I'm now gonna add an admin email for all the security messages from the security software. And I now want to install some online plugins. By online plugins, we mean the plugins from the WordPress repository. So I'm gonna check this box here. And to show you what the repository looks like, you can search it for WordPress repository plugins and you will get to this site here. And any plugin that you wish to install, just get the full name, just copy that name and paste it in the box that we have in the software. I've actually got a couple of plugins, so I'm going to paste those now. I want all my plugins to update automatically, so I'm gonna check this box here. And I want my WordPress to update automatically in future, so I'm gonna check this box here. I also want to install some local plugins which exist on my local hard drive. So I'm gonna check this box here and I'm gonna click here. And as you can see, I have a selection of uh, plugins which I've already pre-configured with the software. And I'm gonna go and select those three here. I'm just gonna backtrack a little bit to show you where these plugins come from. When you install WP Master Control 2, you're gonna get a folder with two directories underneath, one's called plugins and themes. And of course the executable which you run the application from. And these of course will be the same plugins and themes that will appear in your software. Okay, so on this site I want to install and configure a backup plugin. I wanna go and install and configure a security plugin and firewall. I also want to install a local theme, which I'm gonna select here. I also want to enable quick setup options as you can see here. Now these relate to this tab just here which allows you to install a whole variety of popular plugins and of course, change your standard default WordPress settings and of course, create pages and also categories of your choice. Now I have these options set up already and saved using this button here, so I can load these. As you can see, the software is gonna create three default pages for me and three default categories with names of my choice. Now, as I've enabled the backup option, the backup settings option is just here, and essentially I can do the, exactly the same thing. So uh, I have a preference for backup, which I have saved before, so I'm just gonna load that now. And again, once you have done this for yourself to whatever your preferences are, you can press the save button and you can do exactly the same to save you time. So my site is now ready to add to the manager. I'm gonna do that now. Now I want to do exactly the same thing to my second site, which is the HTML masterclass one, which is the pre-populated one, and watch how quickly I can do this. And that's it, I'm ready to go. So we now have two sites ready for backup plugin installation, security installation, installation of a local theme, installation of local plugins, installation of offline plugins, and installation of some popular plugins too. So all we need to do is press the process sites button. Now most sites will take between five and 10 minutes to process per site. 
Now, obviously that will depend on the speed of your server and of course, the amount of plugins and themes you are installing. So I'm now gonna pause the video and we'll get back to the sites once the job is finished. Okay, so as you can see in the status area just here, these tasks are now all completed. Okay, so let's have a look at our sites. And we had our original blank WordPress site with no plugins whatsoever. So let's have a look at that. And let's have a look at the plugins. As you can see, all the plugins have now been installed and activated. And of course, we have a backup plugin installed, activated and configured. We have our WordPress security plugin activated, installed and configured with firewall settings. Okay, so let's have a look at the themes. And we have our preferred theme installed for us. Let's have a look at the pages. Well, now we required three pages to be built for us. There they are, one, two, three. And we required three categories to be generated for us too. There's the three categories that I specified in the quick setup. Okay, let's have a look at the other site, which is the HTML masterclass and go into plugins. Now we already had some plugins installed, but we didn't have backup we didn't have security and we didn't have extra plugins like uh, contact form. As you can see, we have the backup plugin set up and configured and we have the security plugin set up and configured. Let's have a look at the themes. As you can see, my preferred theme is already for me to use. And we have a look at the categories. As you can see, three categories have been created for me. I've looked at the pages. As you can see, my three pages have been created for me. Okay, so without having to do any actions, just by plumbing in the settings and by selecting what I want, I was able to configure two sites in one go, totally hands-free. That's an extremely useful tool for any WordPress webmaster. Thanks for watching.